We work on immunity, we work on innate immune cells. So those are the cells that are the most important to defend our body against infection. And therefore, we actually find them in all the organs that we have. And the question that we try to answer in the lab is how those cells are even able to live in all different organs. You can imagine bones are very different from the lung or from the skin. So how can they adapt to that? And also how do they change when we actually get sick? So when we get obese or when we age or when we have a jet lag, right, then organs change. So how do the immune cells react to it and how can we help them to still function properly? In my life, I never had this epiphany moment or this law of first sight with science. That, that did not happen to me. It was more like, you know, a gradual process of falling in love. And I guess that during high school, I, I studied biology a lot. I studied chemistry a lot. And I started to run into, I don't know, answers from my teachers. And that was the moment when I thought, well, you know, we have to do something about that. And then I actually discovered there is a field like science. There is a field like researchers. I didn't know that before when I, when I was a kid. And then I thought, okay, I, I don't see myself really as a scientist. I see myself as, a, as an answer seeker. So the object that I brought to sort of um, represent my science, you have seen that all along, is this plant here. I think a plant, and especially that plant, represents our science very much. Because we work in many different directions, we look at the immune system and how it is involved in many different organs, right? And um, it's something that you have to take care about. Like, science is not a 100-meter race, it's a marathon. So like with a plant, you have to water it, you have to give it sun, you have to take care of it for a long time so that it grows and then it blossoms. And this is a pleasure to see. And if you do that well, and if you have a lot of patience, then even as you can see here, you know, new ideas pop up, new branches are being developed, and maybe this is gonna, you know, bring the world forward. So therefore I think science is a bit like taking care of a plant. If you see it growing, that is the most rewarding, but it takes some dedication and time and patience.